Hello guys, and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. We'll do a quick little video on some product from the guy at Blue Force Gears, and it was kind enough to send this products for me to check it out. Make sure to check those guys out. I'll note it down below or somewhere in the comments down below. So they send out three slings that uh, they are different. They are different uh, styles and uses and everything. But we're gonna look through all three of them and tell you which one I prefer the most. It all depends on preference, but you have many options. Now, price is gonna vary. I'm not gonna say prices, cause YouTube doesn't like me telling me prices. But we're gonna start today with the Vickers Sling, which everybody is popular about, you know, Vickers. Great guy, veteran, military guy, all that good stuff. Now this one is gonna be the, again, the Vickers Combat Application Sling. And this one is a multicam, which you see right here. I don't know if you can see it. But anyways, as you see the picture, it's gonna be a uh, sling with pad on it, which I really prefer the most. Um, yeah, they can be a little bit wider and everything, but again, it comes to preference. Again, check out the link for prices and everything. And you can get in this in multiple different types. Available colors, it's American made, lightweight, uh, adjustable, heavy duty hardware. Just simple design, rapid adjustability, universal rifle attachment. You can also get all the different type of attachments from Blue Force gear, uh, quick disconnect, all that good stuff. Uh, you have to buy those separately because most of these do not come with the hardware. So make sure to get the hardware to be able to um, use it on your rifle or whatever it may be. Uh, again, this is going to be the Vicker Slim. And again, it's very quick, adjustable strap. Again, just keeps the rifle and everything uh, close to your body so you can maneuver, do whatever you need to, hands-free. As you know, I always recommend have some type of sling or anything on your rifle to be able to carry. And again, be able to adjust it quickly when you need it. Now, just like any other sling out there, everybody's different, but most of the time, slings like this with adjustability is gonna have a quick strap here on the side that you need to adjust it by pulling this tab right here. Uh, and again, you can get different colors and all you do is very adjust your length and everything to your body, your size, whatever it may be. And all you do is pull this to your length by adjusting it and loosening it. And this tab just loosen up and you're able to manage your rifle however you need to. And when you don't need it, all you do is pull this tab right and it's gonna be close to your body again. I don't like it too tight, but tight enough to just be out of the way. But as you can see, you can still be able to bring the rifle up if you need to, even though you don't have to reach that hand and adjust it. And again, it's all becomes preference, how you mount it, depending on your QD systems and everything. This is gonna to mount to whatever you have on your rifle, pistol, whatever you have uh, available to mount it. And again, some rifles don't have QD point, like this one does a QD, integrate QD on the rail. So again, you are gonna need some kind of hardware to use to uh, be able to attach the sling into your rifle. Again, this is the Vicker uh, sling here. Again, the combat application, as you can see. And I really like this because again, it's padded on the back here and it just feels great. And it's wide enough and minimal enough to be able to be comfortable. And again, all you do is adjust it to your length. You may have to trim some and uh, from the sling it's too long still. Uh, sometimes I do have to do that in certain slings, but this one I did trim a little bit off just to give me the enough length pull and adjustability for my height and width or whatever it may be for my body. Again, depending how you run your sling, a lot of people have quick disconnect on the rear, on the bus stock or brace, whatever it may be, or in the rail, whichever all comes to preference. This is just the way I like it and it works for me again. Um, again, this is the Vickers sling from Blue Force Gear. All right, let's check the other one. All right, the second sling that I have from the guys at Blue Force Gear is gonna be the Vickers 221 sling. This is the two to one point sling. Uh, so basically you're gonna have a two point uh, contacts or adjustments where you can run this. And this typically uh, is not my favorite. Uh, Two point sling is not my favorite, but if you have like a PCC or small compact uh, type of firearm, it's gonna work better for uh, be able to carry and everything. And again, I don't like the 
one point sling or two point sling because when you connect it to the one point, the firearm is going to be more uh, prone to move around a lot and hit you everywhere and between your legs and all that stuff if, you, if you're using it on a rifle. But it may be a little better for small compacts, PCC, carbine, whatever it may be type of firearm. So again, it does have the adjust, adjustability right here where you can tighten it up to your body. Again, adjust it to your body and it keeps it out of my way. And as you can see, it comes right close to my body where I need it. And I can still bring it up again to be able to use it in case I don't have the time to adjust the sling and I can still bring it up and give me the option to use my firearm. But it does keep it close as you can see and all that. So basically you have your QD, which uh, this one does come already sewn in um, because it's a two, two to one point sling. So basically it has a um a tab here which is uh aluminum and it's gonna be let me see if i can take it off here there are some real small buttons which is pretty cool uh you don't have to worry about you know coming loose or anything so as you can see here on the other end of straps you have a aluminum type uh i think it's aluminum it could be polymer uh but anyway it does have a QD point here and again that's where you make it a one point sling and you still have your other tab here which is going to connect to your uh, firearm whatever it may be and just like that you have a one point sling and again as you can see it's going to move around a lot more and definitely hit you when you don't want to and it's going to hurt but you still be able to bring your firearm up and you'll be able to you know use it whenever you need to so uh, again, it's not my preferred, but again, you can get this in different type colors. You can adjust it again, tighten all the way uh, if you need to. And again, it's going to be more preferable to use this type of sling on a smaller compact farm because it's not going to hang real low and hit you when you don't need to. But you can always uh, adjust it, loosen it, and bring it back to a two point sling, and then you back to normal. The way you like it so you can still use it but you don't have to stay in a one point sling position and you have your two point sling as usual and you still have the adjustability again pull stat pull tab on it which is sewed in and all the hardware and everything is very durable as uh, they make it from blue force gear and all american made and all that good stuff all right so this is again the vickers uh 221 sling make sure i'm saying this correctly and give you the right uh sling option again it's a one point sling that has the advantage uh polymer burn set sockets and red swivel or push button swivels again you got different options so you can get um again the red swivel has a longer tab where you can just pull and be able to quick disconnect your uh sling to one position to another one and they do have that available at the blue force gear website all right let's look at the third sling from blue force gear stay tuned all right guys the third and last sling that i have from blue force gear is going to be the gmt sling the 1.25 webbing on it and they have a quick adjustable uh tab on it which someone will have the option to do uh, as well and it's pretty easy again if you know by adjustable slings you just pull the tab uh, toward body to loosen it and pull it forward to the muscle to tighten it up so again this is going to be available and different it had all slings and products have lifetime warranty and again this one's going to have a tab here that you can grab and pull uh, and basically all you do is loosen it and pull towards the muscle of your um, rifle, which this was a little bit more um, difficult to remember than the other ones. And what I mean by that is, again, you're gonna have the tab here that you pull away to loosen, but then you got to have the uh, strap that is loose here in front of it to tighten and all you do is pull it for the muscle of the rifle and you tighten it up to your body like that and basically again if you wanted to lose it you'll have to pull this tab back and then back forward uh, again if you have the rifle you can tighten it up 
like this again by pulling this tab and this one's gonna be for loose so you have two different ways uh, you have to adjust it and to me that's gonna be a little more difficult to remember uh, to do when you only have one tab that does all of it together then two different things you have to pull to adjust the sling on the rifle and to adjust it the way you want it or just bring it close to your body as you can see uh, it does just fine I like it and everything uh, it's not my favorite but uh, a lot of people like the option but again you grab the round plastic knob here whatever you want to call it to loosen it up and again to tighten it up you're going to grab the strap in front of it and pull to tighten it up and it just hangs right there and you can uh, tighten the rifle right there and again you still have that availability to bring out your rifle if you need to loose it again you're just going to pull this tab to loosen it or the other one to tighten it up and let it hang free and that's basically it to me it's going to be something else to be snagged on caught on uh, again it's not my favorite i see the concept on it but again it's not going to be my favorite type of adjustment for me typically i like the other ones where you have one tab to tighten and loosen it to me in my opinion again it's just my opinion that's what i like and works for me so again you still have the ability to bring your rifle up and be able to adjust it and tighten the way you like it all right that's pretty much it again guys to go back and tell you more about the uh, slings that we talked about again the first one is going to be the Vickers Comeback application sling and again this is going to be a uh, two-point sling and then you have the Vickers 2 to 1 sling two to one point sling which is more preferable to a carbine PCC type smaller compact firearms and again the one that I have now is the GMT sling which is also different type of adjustment and different style that they have all right guys that's pretty much it i really appreciate blue force gear for sending the slings for me to try out again all comes to preference whichever works for you make sure to you know uh pick the one and works for you again some of these slings do come with hardware some of them don't so make sure to uh read the description on a sling option and what comes with it and again they have options with different type of quick disconnect or whatever it may be that you wanted to put it on you can put it directly on some swivels if your rifle has swivels already you just um, loop it through and that's pretty much it all right guys that's pretty much it quick little simple video nothing fancy just want to give you some options and show you what blue force gear has available as far as sling they do have other products as well they have uh, belts and stuff and all that type of accessories for your firearms or knees whatever for the range as well that you may want to look towards getting great quality great products many options available colors um, you know different things they have available whatever comes to mind that you like to look for uh, i think blue force gear has the options there all right that's pretty much it guys if you're not following me on instagram make sure to follow me that's where i post all uh new products coming to the channel for me to review and different things coming up on the channel as usual uh follow me on all social media as far as uh, facebook twitter uh tiktok all that good stuff and pretty much anything that keeps suppressing me so if you're new to the channel and you're new to uh pretty much everything here on the channel if you like give it a big thumbs up i really appreciate it there is a like button and a join button and all that good stuff many ways you can help the channel as far as donation but you don't have to really appreciate it if you do it don't cost that much but just help continue bringing content like this and keep the channel going as we know so that's pretty much it guys if you're not subscribe make sure to subscribe and good luck to you and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you the next one goodbye